Hey guys, today we will see the difference between covariance and contravariance. Covariance and contravariance are concepts in object-oriented programming that describe the relationship between types and their subtypes. First, let's talk about covariance. Covariance allows an object, variable or parameter of a more drive type to be assigned to an object, variable or parameter of a less drive type. In other words, Covariance preserves assignment compatibility between the related types. Now let's see variance coding example. For this purpose, I'm having the most generalized class employee and then there is a specialized class manager and then there is a more specialized class which is CEO. CEO is inherited from manager class and manager class is inherited from employee class. We will use this structure to understand the covariance. To see covariance example, here I'm going to create an object of employee type and assigning the drive class to it. So this is called covariance. Second, if I assign most specialized class like CEO to this manager object, then this is also called the covariance. If I assign CEO to manager, then this is also called covariance. So this was the example of covariance in which we are storing our drive type into our base type. Next is contravariance. Contravariance allows you to use a less drive type or base class where a more drive type or subclass is expected. It is used with argument only and contravariance is primarily used with delegates and generic interfaces. It is not directly applicable to non-generic interfaces or classes. Let's explore it with a coding example. First, I'm going to create action type delegate. Cause these delegates we can use with our generic types. And this delegate is employee type. And in this, I'm going to print employee's name. Now this action delegate having the most generalized type. Let's create an other action with the most specialized type CEO and let's assign employee action delegate to it. This will work cause of contravariance. So these are two simple concepts covariance and contravariance. Now let's see how we can use these two concepts in generic interfaces. To understand the generic types, what we are going to do, we are going to create a generic interface that demonstrate both covariance and contravariance using the out and in keywords. Covariance is used for the return type and contravariance is used for the parameter. We can use out keyword for covariance and in keyword for contravariance. So here I'm having an interface I display employee. If I want to implement covariance and contravariance on this interface, then I will use in and out parameter. We will use in keyword for input and out keyword for output. Now I'm going to write a method and uh, going to give its generic return type and generic output by using covariance and contravariance. We can also specify the condition like here I'm going to specify that my input type must be employee. If I switch this both the input T and output T then it's showing us error and the error is we can't use covariance as contravariance and contravariance as covariance. Now let's implement this interface in another class. In input I'm giving employee type and in output I want a string. As you can see in this display employee I'm implementing an interface by using contravariance and covariance. Covariance we specify with out keyword and contravariance we specify with in keyword. Contravariance we use as a parameter and covariance we use as a return type. Let's use it in main function. First I'm going to create CEO type object and initializing a property name with John and then specify display employee object. Now I can use this display function like this console dot right line 
display dot display and in its params I'm going to pass an employee object and we can pass specialized class to so I'm passing CEO as you can see this function is using contravariance and covariance let's execute it and it's printed CEO name hope you understand these bit tricky but simple concepts covariance and contravariance if this video is helpful for you please like subscribe and share my channel thanks for watching